Step on it. dump every day for three months and I couldn't even think of the name of it. Howdy. Quite a load you got here, Pop. Yeah, it ought to be. Been at it since sun up. Say, if you're looking for them stolen automobile tires I've been hearing about, they ain't on my wagon. I ain't no fence. Not Jeremiah Crockett. Get away from me. Oh, Why the oh. dog off? Oh, oh. Go get him. Oh, get him, Chris. My pickings down here is pretty good. Get going, Sam. where you'd gone. None of them seemed to know. Well, you see, Dad needed the rent money to buy some stuff for his new invention. 
We didn't have any place else to go, so we moved here. Is he still working on the invention? He's got it finished now. He's shown how it works today over at the Warrington Steel Plant. Swell. Irish old boy. Too bad we let that fella get away from us. Thank you. Why was he chasing that man? We found him going through Dad's papers. Irish jumped him and then he ran. You ever see him before? Mm-mm. But I'd know him if I ever ran across him again. Well, I got his license number. Sam, call headquarters and give him that number. Calling car 11, calling 11. Go to Wellington Steelworks and contact John V. Adams. We have an anonymous warning. Attack will be made on his life today. Probably a crank, but investigated. Pat, that's my dad. I know it, Pinky, but don't worry. He'll be all right. Pat, can we go with you? You can, but not the dog. Oh, I'll let him go. All right, get in. Go on, Harry. <coughs> Good morning, Mr. Adams. I'm sorry I'm late for our appointment. Please excuse well, me. Well, that's all right. Mr. Wellington isn't here yet. Well, Adams, everything ready? Yes, sir. Oh, I take it this is Mr. Harper, the gentleman you were speaking of. Yes. How do you do, Mr. Wellington? Mr. Wellington finds it hard to believe that a man of your importance was really interested in my invention. It's more than a personal interest, Mr. Wellington. I am here representing my government, and if Mr. Adams has really discovered the secret of flexible steel... Oh, I've got it all right. Here it is, gentlemen. Flexible steel. I tell you, gentlemen, it'll revolutionize modern warfare. I've made a bulletproof vest out of it. You take this pistol, Mr. Wellington. I'll stand over there, and you fire directly at me. Nothing doing, Adams. But, Mr. Wellington, the only way I can prove my confidence in my own invention... Yes, yes, Adams, but for a man of your years, it's too big a risk. But let me prove... Now, now, I'm now, be sensible. We can test it just as well against that block over there. Well, perhaps you're right. Suppose you try, Mr. Tahata. <laughs> I'm not a very good shot. I prefer my own gun, if you don't mind. All ready? <coughs> See, gentlemen, here are your bullets on the floor, and here's my flexible steel. <laughs> Not a puncture in it. It's true, Mr. Tahata. Why, an airplane covered with it would be impervious to machine gun attacks. My country will pay one million dollars for your formula and half a million a year royalties. Oh, now I can give Pinky all the things I've always wanted to give him. I'll never forget your kindness in helping me. Oh, forget it, Adams. Suppose you two come up to my office. And we'll draw up the papers. You have the formula with you, Mr. Adams? I always have it with me. Up here. I've been too clever to ever put it on paper. But I will now. Suppose you and Mr. Wellington go up ahead. I'll come up to the office as soon as I've finished. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Harder. I've got to see Mr. Wellington right away. Okay, right down there. Thank you. Will you excuse me? Certainly. Turne Barra. I told him to wait outside for me. There's a police officer outside who says that he must see you, Mr. Wellington. Police officer? Well, show him in. You come in. Mr. Wellington? Yes? Are you a man by the name of Mr. Adams working here? He's not working for me, but he's doing some work in my laboratory. Why? 
We just received an anonymous warning that his life's in danger. You mean someone's going to try and kill him? I told you all I know about it, gentlemen. I'd like to speak to Mr. Adams. Well, let's go, quick. So, Pinky. What's this he's wearing? That's a bulletproof vest he was demonstrating to us. A bulletproof vest? Mr. Harley here fired three bullets at him. Here they are. Whoever sent that warning knew what they were talking about. Adams has been murdered. Pinky, I want you to help me. Yes, sir. Get a hold of Sam immediately. Tell him to contact the homicide squad. Mr. Wellington, phone the front gate and tell them that nobody's to leave the plant. Not that phone, there may be prints on it. All right, I'll use the one in the former's office. What makes you think it's murder? I see no wound. That's the job for the coroner. But it's my guess, best or no best, the impact of that bullet would have killed him. Who's this? A member of my staff. What are you men doing here? On behalf of my country, I had just offered Mr. Adams one million dollars for his flexible steel formula. One million dollars? A lot of men have been killed for less than that. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'll return to my hotel. I'm afraid I can't do that. You'll have to remain here until the homicide squad arrives. You can wait in Mr. Wellington's office if you'd like. Carrying that for a friend. You better start thinking of a lot of answers, because I'm going to ask you a lot of questions. Now well, you got it, Pat. Good work. Wellington, Mr. Harrison of the Harrison Iron and Steel Works is on the telephone. He's called several times and insists upon speaking with you. What does that crook want? I don't know. <clears throat> Hello. See here, Wellington. I know that Adams is demonstrating that invention of his at your place and... That's nothing to do with you. Plenty. That formula belongs to me. Save your breath, Harrison. Adams is dead, murdered. Adams murdered? I can't believe it. Who did it? They're holding one of your employees. A man named Harry Selkirk. What are you trying to frame, Wellington? You know Selkirk hasn't worked for me since I put him in jail for that three years ago. Well, that may be, Harrison. But we'll know more about it when the police finish investigating the entire case. I'm instructing my lawyer to file my claim for the formula against Adams' estate. What do you want to say? Leave letters for you to sign, Mr. Harrison. No time for that now. Get out. I'm busy. Excellency, you mean they don't even suspect the formula exists? I am certain of it. 
The fool may have destroyed it. Not after risking his life to get it. He's too smart a man for that. The formula is hidden somewhere in the steel plant. and be your former self again. You will remember only what I am telling you now. You understand? I will remember only what you tell me now. Tonight, after dark, send four men to the Wellington Steel Plant. Have you a prisoner here named Harry Selkirk? Yes. I'd like to speak to him. I'm his sister. Wait in there. Thank you. I'll take your foot. Oh, thank you. That's Selkirk's sister. Selkirk's sister? If you're through with Selkirk, send him in. Sister would like to see him. Say, if he'd tell anybody the truth about that formula, he'd tell her. Do you really think my dad wrote the formula before he... before he was... I'm positive, thank you. I found a new blotter on his workbench the day he was killed. And on that bladder was part of the chemical formula. Mother, you shouldn't have come here. Suppose Harrison gets wind of it and finds out that you're my sister. Oh, but I had to come, Harry. I was the only one that could help you. You can help me, Molly. I got the formula and hid it. We've got to get it before somebody else does. Oh, but how could I possibly do that without being caught? I thought of that. Now, here's the plan. As soon as it gets dark, you... Can't you understand? Adams must have written the formula or he wouldn't have been killed. That means it's hidden somewhere in the Wellington plant. We haven't a chance of getting in there now. Wait till the night shift goes on. the right hunch, Pat. <laughs> I'll say this for her, she's got plenty of nerve. Wait here, Sam. Special detail. More of that murder business? Okay. Now listen, whoever finds that paper, get up on that catwalk and signal the rest of us. Get going.
Adams was killed before he could write his formula for flexible steel. It's because he did write it that he was murdered, Mr. Wellington. Selkirk got a hold of that formula, but he hid it before I arrested him. He sent his sister back for it tonight. Good heavens. Why, O'Hara, that formula will revolutionize the steel industry. It's worth millions. It's the rightful property of the Adams boy here. We've got to locate him. You're right, Mr. Wellington. Hadn't you better come to our plant hospital for first aid? No, thanks. I'm okay. You sure can't take it, can you, Mr. Wellington? He responds to no one but me. No power known to man could force him to talk unless I will. Speak. We were too late. The police were there. And the formula? Selkirk's sister has it. Selkirk's sister? Do the police know she has it? Yes, master. That is all. You may go. How do you suppose the police found out about that formula? We have a dangerous man to deal with, Zuta. This radio patrolman, O'Hara, who questioned me yesterday is no ordinary police officer. But the police believe Southkirk murdered Adams. O'Hara doesn't believe that, and he will never rest until he tracks down the real murderer. If he's as dangerous as all that, we better get out of here before he gets too close. Not without the formula. Our country's very existence depends upon the secret of flexible steel. Let me sleep. Oh, today 
Send the research chemist up here. Here you are. Thanks. Say, isn't that the stuff I read about in the paper? The inventor got murdered for it, didn't he? You ever read about the father that was killed for not minding his own business? Sorry. Didn't mean to speak out of turn. Well, if you get another job, you know where to find me. That for me, Mr. Harrison. What's supposed to do? I didn't think Adams or anyone else could ever do that. What I want to know is how he did it. Drop whatever you're doing and break that down. I'm not sure I can analyze it, Mr. Harrison. You've got to. Once I register this with the patent office, I don't care who has Adam's formula. All right. I'll get busy on it right away. Mr. Harrison's office. Radio patrolman O'Hara to see Mr. Harrison. Send him in. How did you get in here? Well, your secretary must have stepped out. The cop has much time to waste. What do you want? I've got a few questions I'd like to ask you. We're holding a man by the name of Selkirk for the murder of John P. Adams, the inventor. According to police records, Selkirk was sent to the penitentiary three years ago, largely on your testimony. Yes, he was an officer of this company. Unfortunately, he embezzled a large sum of money and we had to prosecute. I know all that, Mr. Harrison. What I really came to find out is what you know about Selkirk's sister. Sister? I didn't know he had a sister. She got away with a formula for Adam's invention. Well, that is news. Looks like that sort of thing must run in the Selkirk family. She can't possibly dispose of it except to a foreign country. 
Well, thanks, Mr. Harrison. I'd sure like to get a line on that girl. Sorry I can't be of assistance to you. John Adams was a good friend of mine, and if there's anything I can do to help clear up the case, don't hesitate to call on me. Thanks. Yeah? Mr. Harrison, about that sample of flexible steel that you asked me to analyze. Don't uh, bother me with that now, Stevens. Uh, I'll see you later. Go by here with the blue outfit on. She went that way. Just a minute, Miss. Oh, Miss Selkirk. So it is you. What were you doing up in Harrison's office? Well, I, I wanted to see Mr. Harrison about my brother. The secretary wasn't there, so I started to open the door. I heard what you said to Mr. Harrison and realized you wouldn't believe anything I said after last night. So I ran away. There's one thing you're going to tell me the truth about right now. Where's that formula? I won't tell you that. I won't tell anybody until I've talked to my brother. That can be easily arranged. I'm taking you down to headquarters. Well, there you are. Say, what's she been up to, shoplifting? In a steel mill? You would think of that. Back to headquarters and make it snappy. This way, Selkirk. My car's right there. Where are we going? To your sister. Can you beat that, Irish? Selkirk killed my dad and the police let him go free. Hey, Pat! You know the man that killed my dad? Well, Lord, you just got him out of jail. Harry! Harry, wait! Sam, take her into the station and keep it till I get back. You bet. the formula last night. Do you think they crashed us on purpose? There's no doubt of it. Too bad I can't follow them. Irish can. Go get him, Art. Follow that car. We're getting out here, Selkirk. You better come along quietly. Get rid of the car.
Try it, Pinky. Yeah, we'd better get headquarters and find out what he can from Selkirk's sister. Calling 1-1. Blue one, one. Rambler sedan found abandoned in the front of 1227 DeLacy Street. 1227 DeLacy Street. No trace of occupants. R-27 standing by. Which way he went? Wasn't anybody in it but the driver. He beat it when he saw us coming. Calling car 27, emergency call. Hold up at 304, South Indiana. That's all. That's us, Pat. We'll be back right after we check up on it. Come on, Pete. Pinky, looks like another tough break for us. Yeah, even if Irish found out something, he wouldn't know where we were. I got a hunch if Irish followed that car, he isn't far from here. We'll, we'll soon find out. Here, Irish! like you know something. We better follow him. Gosh, Pat, is this Chinatown? No, Pinky. This is the Egyptian quarter. There's some places in here that make you forget you're even in America. They won't see us. Don't kid yourself. That dog's plenty smart. What's up, Irish? Did you see something? I'll say he does. Hold him, Pinky. We want the formula, Selkirk. Tell us where to find your sister and... Master! 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 The signal. They're interfering policemen. If you find Selkirk here... In here, quick!
you see something? I'll say he does. Hold him, Pinky. He wants the formula, Selkirk. Tell us where to find your sister and... They're interfering policemen. If he finds Selkirk here... In here, quick! Okay, 
Get to that radio. Come on. Car 11 calling headquarters. Car 11 calling headquarters. Pick up Blue Rambler. License number 7R2784. Wanted in connection with kidnapping of Harry Selkirk. That is all. Hey, Pat, any word on Selkirk himself? Drawn a blank so far. Lost him somewhere. That's too bad. Stick with it, kid. He's important. Tell the chief I'm coming in with a prisoner. Right on. You know, these crossword puzzles sure improves the brain. I just found out there ain't no H in sugar. Miss Selkirk. I just got a radio report on your brother. Oh, where is he? They haven't harmed him, have they? I hope not, miss. O'Hara lost the trail. But it would help us a lot if you'd tell us who'd want to harm your brother. The man who murdered John Adams. He'd do anything to silence Harry. Why? Because my brother knew too much about Adams' death. If you know that much, maybe you know who murdered Adams. Well, I, I think I do. But until I can prove it, I don't dare mention any names. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll be going. But, Sarge, aren't you going to book her? If you don't get out those crossword puzzles, I'll book you. We've got nothing on Miss Selkirk. But Pat told me to hold her till he got back. Well, you might leave your address and phone number in case we get any news of your brother. Certainly. 417 South Benita Avenue. Just a minute. 417. Yes? Sharon, 0413. Thank you, Miss Selkirk. You may go. Steelworks. The boss will want to know about this. I'll phone him. You wait here. Got some good news for you, Mr. Harrison. It looks like we're going to be able to break down this piece of flexible steel and get Adam's formula from it. Oh, that's fine, Stevens. How soon will they know definitely? Well, that's hard to say. Mr. Harrison's office. Just a moment, please. It's a delicate piece of research. Well, it takes some time. Yes? Mr. Wellington of Wellington Steelworks wishes to speak to you. Put him on. This is Harrison. What do you want? Look here, Harrison. In the interest of justice to an orphan boy, I think you and I ought to drop our personal grievances. What do you mean? I was speaking of Adams' son. If ever the former was found, it belongs to him. I've just dictated a release on any claims I may have had on the Adams formula, and I think you ought to do the same. So we can settle the estate. You may be a philanthropist, Wellington, but I'm not throwing away $10 million. That formula belongs to me, and I mean to get it. Goodbye. You'll have nothing to worry about, Chief. We know that Selkirk's sister has got the formula. 
And as long as Selkirk is charged with the murder of Adams, I don't think she'll dare come out into the open with it. But don't forget, Selkirk has never forgiven me for sending him to the penitentiary three years ago. He'd do anything to get even with me. Yeah, that's bad. If his sister and that Adams kid ever get together, you won't have a leg to stand on. Stevens, I've got it. The legal guardian of the Adams boy would have him under his constant control with every legal right to push the search for the formula. I don't follow you. It's as simple as this. I'm going to adopt Adam's son. Adopt him? Say, there's an idea. If it works. It will. Meanwhile, you work night and day to break down that piece of flexible steel. I've got to have that formula. I'm on the way. Come on, let's stay. Send those letters out and phone Harkness. I can't keep that appointment. I'll be gone for the rest of the afternoon. Hey, hello, information? Is there a telephone connection at or near the city dumps? Stop calling it, Emma Cummins! Crockett Tabbage Company, Jeremiah Crockett, President, talking. Hello. Do you know a little boy named Adam living at the city dumps? You mean Pinky Adams, son of John Adams, the inventor? That's wise? That's the boy. Would you please call him to the phone? Yeah. Well, I reckon Pinky's around Gallivant and somewhere. You want to leave a message for him? Yes, tell him. Oh, never mind. I'll call again. Now, see if you can keep quiet for ten minutes at least. You're more trouble than all my money. Yeah. 
You stay here, Ice, with Jeremiah. And even if I had the formula, I wouldn't give it to you. You can't bluff me. I don't believe you've got my brother. We didn't come here on a bluff, sister. Sent after his sister. Hello? Yes? Put Selkirk on the phone. His sister wants to talk to him. Bring him over here. Here, talk to your brother. Harry. Harry, is it really you? These men say I'll never see you again unless I give them the formula. Molly, don't do it. I'm not afraid of them. Why, they wouldn't dare. Oh. Harry! Me. Oh, they've killed him. Not yet, sister. We'll wait to see how we make out first. All right. I'll get you the formula. It's locked. Where's the key? In my bag. Stay in the car, Pinky. How do I know after I've given you the formula, you won't hurt my brother? Don't worry. After we get it, he doesn't mean a thing to us. Forget. If you want to see your brother again, no monkey business. Hey, Flynn. What's the matter? The radio cop's coming upstairs. Let's try the fire upstairs. Talking on the phone to Pinky? Yes, why? He said he heard you scream. Why, the boy must be mistaken. I thought he hung up on me. That doesn't sound on the level to me, Miss Selkirk. Pinky doesn't make mistakes like that. You better come down to headquarters and explain. Get your coat. Oh, I don't need a coat. You'll probably be there several hours. You'd better get your coat.
she was going to cross us up then. We're not leaving here till we're sure that cop's gone. Just what I was thinking, boys. Reach for it. We're all going down to headquarters together. Turn around. All right, get going. anywhere? No. He must have gone back to cover the rear entrance. Let's meet him. What were those men after me? The Adams formula. I had to give it to them. The formula? Yes.
Oh, he's gone. You do? Where? To the Carl Cafe, inside that arch. I was down here once before with Pat. Calling car 11, calling 11. Report your position immediately. You answer it. Oh, I can't. I don't know how. Well, I'll try. Carl 11 reporting. Officer O'Hara isn't... We know all about Officer O'Hara. Is this the Adams boy? Yes, sir. I'm here with Miss Elkirk. Miss Elkirk? Yes. Please give me your exact location. We follow the man to the Egyptian quarters near the Cairo Cafe. Thanks, son. That's all we want to know. You and Miss Elkirk remain in the car until O'Hara joins you. You stay with the car, Miss Elkirk. I want to see where that fellow went. Sarge, what's a three-letter word meaning pest? S-A-M. Sam, scram, get out of here. Wellington Steelworks? Give me Mr. Wellington's office. This is police headquarters. Yeah? Mr. Wellington? Let me talk to O'Hara, please. Voice for you. Hello. Hello, Chief. O'Hara speaking. Cairo Cafe. I thought as much. Yeah. Yeah, I'll leave right away. Thanks. Mr. Wellington, can I borrow one of your cars? I think I'm on the verge of cracking the Adams case. Why, certainly, my boy. I'll do everything I can to help you clear up this mess. What about your prisoner? Headquarters is sending a car for him. Go down to the main gate. I'll phone ahead and have a car waiting for you. Thanks. Take great care of the Adams, boy, O'Hara. Certainly will, Mr. Wellington. That is the offer I made to Mr. Adams before he was murdered. But I'm afraid his sudden death prevented the writing of the formula. I can assure you that the formula does exist. In fact, it won't be long before I have it in my possession. Legally in your possession, Mr. Harrison? What difference does that make? I think we understand each other. Come in. The messenger said this was important. Could you excuse me? Verify this information immediately and let me know if it is correct. Matter of importance to my government, Mr. Harrison. Please pardon the intrusion. Quite all right, Tyler. If you can deliver the formula, my government will pay one million dollars for it. In that case, you may expect to hear from me within a few days. Very well. I'm not going to hurt you. In fact, before long, I may allow you to regain your sight. Then you found the formula. Yes, my men are verifying it now. If you harm my sister, I'll... Ah!
get to you, Captain? Uh, I catch him on the roof. He looking through the skylight. Pinky, what happened? I just saw your brother. He shot up in one of those rooms. Pinky located my brother in the Cairo Cafe. Are you sure of that, Pinky? Yes, I saw him tied up. I run him. He put the chair. I fall down. Look at the suit. Looking through the skylight. It's the Adams kid. Call it. Calling headquarters, emergency. Go ahead, Eleven. I've located Selkirk, held prisoner in the Cairo Cafe. I'm moving in on him now. Okay, O'Hara. I'll give you every available car in the district. Come on, Pinky. Show me where you're going. You better stay here, Miss Selkirk. I'm here. Tell me that my beast may have been. You have been tricked. This is not the formula for flexible steel. It is nothing but a common alloy. I didn't think the girl would double cross us knowing that we held her brother here. Where's Zuta? The radio cop O'Hara's outside. I just heard him phone headquarters and asked for more cops to raid the place. There's the answer, Zuta. That girl took a chance that our men would know the difference and trail them here. They mustn't find Selkirk. But where can we take him? I've got it. Here's what I want you to do. Well, there's a skylight close to it that opens right into the room where they've got Selkirk. I think I can find it. You better get back to the car. Oh, gee, Pat, can I go with you? No, I need you to send with the radio and keep in touch with headquarters. Okay, Pat. Calling all cars in District 14. Attention all cars in District 14. Go at once to the Cairo Cafe in the Egyptian Quarter. Mary Selkirk wanted in connection with the Adams murder case reported held prisoner there. That's all. What do you want? I want to see the owner. You can't come in here. All right, boy. I came in. She wants to take that to follow the truck. Thank you. 
bound to catch us. There's one way to stop them. Get in there and turn that rug loose. Badly hurt, we've got to get her to a hospital. Kirk's gone. 
We've lost that guy. You'll take the rap for it. You better let go. Say not to worry, and they know the business. Car 11 reporting. Car 11 reporting. Go ahead, 11. I just left Miss Selkirk at the hospital. Any orders? Get back to the Cairo Cafe and clean up that end of the Selkirk case. Detective Division wants a full report on it. Okay. And say, how about having a partner meet me down there? I can probably use it. I'll see to it. Am I going with you, Pat? No, Pinky. I want you to stay here and keep your eyes open. You know, Miss Selkirk's got your father's formula. And those men that got away with her brother must have seen what happened to her, and they can easily find out what hospital she's in. You mean she isn't safe even in the hospital? I'm afraid not, Pinky. That's the reason I want you to stay here. If you see anything suspicious, call headquarters right away. Selkirk's sister has the formula. We will find her the danger signal. No! Why don't you stay in your car? We're a good cop for long. Sam, you beat me down here. Yeah, and I sure found out some. Did you? That's great. Yeah, these Egyptians have crossword puzzles too, and boy, are they tough. That's not Egyptian, that's Russian. For Pat. I'm looking for a room with a skylight in it. Maybe this is the one. Officer O'Hara. Oh, hello, Mr. Tejada. Won't you and your friend join me? No, thanks. But maybe you can help us. We're looking for a room with a skylight in it. You know which one it is? A room with a skylight? Hassan. Yes, sir. But do all the fear should be at the start. I see up here. But it's in there. I'll go along with you. Thanks. This is the rope. Where does this door lead? It connects with my own office, but it's been locked ever since I took it. You know who rents this room? No, but I'm pretty sure they're Americans. I heard their voices sometimes through the door. I see. Thanks, Mr. Tejada. Let's go, Sam. There's anything else I can do? No, there is. We'll get in touch with you. Say, what was that car you found? Harrison. Say, Pat, do you suppose he's the one that was holding Selkirk down here? That's just what we're going to find out now. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Harrison will probably regret leaving his card. Car 11 reporting. Car 11 reporting. Go ahead, 11. Let me talk to the sergeant. Just a minute, Pat. Go ahead. Hello? Hello, sergeant. O'Hara on 11. I just found an important clue linking T.H. Harrison with a Selkirk case. With your permission, I'd like to go over to his office and check on it. Harrison, eh? Right? That's mighty interesting. Go ahead. Thanks, sergeant. What do you suppose the cops got on Harris? Don't make any difference what it is. We gotta stop him. Get going. What's a fool out of work meaning stupid? Try it, Joe. Now, that ain't right. The second M don't match. That guy that was shot wasn't shot at all. He slugged me and got away. The whole thing was a frame-up to keep us from getting to Harrison. They must have listened to our broadcast over short wave. It's the only way they could have known we were headed for Harrison. Sam, someday they're going to code our broadcast. Come on. sufficiently to break it down, the chemical that gives it flexibility goes off in the vapor. Adams wasn't half as good a chemist as you are, and yet he invented flexible steel. It seems to me that with all the equipment I've put at your disposal, you could find out how he did it. All right, I'll keep on trying. Hello. Hello, Mr. Harrison. This is Miss Day. City Hospital. Are you badly hurt? Well, nothing serious, but it may be a few days before I can return to the office. I can send you a good girl to take my place. All right, get her over here as soon as you can. The work's piling up. I will. Thank you, Mr. Harrison. 
What did you find out from Harrison? I didn't even talk to him. You didn't talk to him? Why not? I've got some hot information. Let's get to the hospital. Yeah, it's such a to see you, Miss Belkert. Hi, Pat. Nothing's happened here. How'd you make out? Sam will tell you all about it, Pinky. He's down in the car. Swell. Goodbye for now, Miss Belkert. Goodbye, Pinky. What is it? Miss Selkirk or Miss Day? Oh, I knew you'd find out. I wanted to tell you about it myself. What's it all about? Well, it really is Selkirk. I took the name of Molly Day so Mr. Harrison wouldn't recognize my real name. Why didn't you want Mr. Harrison to know your real name? Because my brother was vice president of the Harrison Ironworks. Mr. Harrison sent him to prison three years ago on a trumped-up charge. Can you prove that? Not yet. That's why I'm in Mr. Harrison's office, to get that proof. Excuse me, Miss Selkirk, they're checking your chart. But what's that got to do with a formula for flexible steel? Well, Mr. Harrison would do anything to get that formula. That's why my brother took it, to trap Harrison. Now, we're not trying to steal the formula. We know it belongs to Pinky. I'll gladly turn the formula over to you right now if you think it'll help clear my brother. I'm positive it will. Where is it? Well, it's in a wall safe, in my room behind a picture. If you'll give me the key to your apartment and a combination of the safe, I'll go get it now. Here's the key, and the combination to the safe is on this card. Excuse me, Miss Selkirk. Just want to check your chart. But the other doctor just checked it. Other doctor? Well, that's strange. I'm the only intern on this floor. Are you sure? Positive. Then that other man was a fake, and he heard everything we said. He knows where that formula is. Hello, Joe. Is my sister home? I don't think so. here in case they make a break for it. Okay, Pat.
stay here in case they make a break for it. Okay, Pat. a fellow run out of here? I'll say I did. He was in such a hurry to get away, smacked into this car. I thought there was something phony about him. You mean you let him get away? Look, am I going to pinch every guy that troubles up a fender? Well, I got his license number, 5M2184. Good. We'll call headquarters and have the boys pick him up. Car 11 reporting. Car 11 reporting. Go ahead, 11. Broadcast to general for car bearing the license number 5M2184. 5M is in man, 2184. I haven't got an accurate description of the car. You'll have to get that from the book. While you're at it, give me a check on the owner. Okay, Pat. We'll call you. It's no use, Mr. Harrison. My men have combed the city for that Selkirk girl, but can't find her anywhere. Fine private detective you are. Here's a girl running around loose with a million dollar formula for flexible steel and you can't find her. Yes? Mr. Blake on the phone. Put him on. Go ahead, Mr. Blake. Hello. What? Selkirk got away with the formula. How did he get it? His sister tipped him off and he beat me over to her apartment. Well, that's just about what I expected. The thing I can't understand is how you men let that girl trick you at every turn. Yeah? Well, she's been tricking you and getting away with it. What do you mean? She's been in your office for the last three months, posing as Molly Day, your secretary. My secretary? Selkirk's sister? Why, that's impossible. Well, if you don't believe me, boss, take a run over to the city hospital, room 318, and take a squint at him. All right. You go back to the office. Pollard's here now. I'll tell him what I want you to do. Sure is tough, boss. Now that Selkirk's got the formula, he's going to be plenty hard to find. I think I know how to bring Selkirk to us. Call the city hospital, room 318. You'll get to another phone and call an auto delivery service. Have them send a comfortable town car to the city hospital from this day. Why not send one of our cars? And have it traced directly to us? Get smart, Pollard. Yes, sir. Oh, 
answer, please. Hello? Yes, just a minute. Mr. Harrison calling. Mr. Harrison? Hello, Mr. Harrison. I've checked with my doctor, Miss Day, and he tells me that you'd make a more rapid recovery if you were in a sanitarium in the country. So I've made arrangements, uh... Well, that's very kind of you, Mr. Harrison, but I'm quite comfortable here. Well, it's a matter of business with me. I need you here at the office, so I'm for anything that will speed up your return. Well, of course. I suppose there's really no reason why I shouldn't go. Yes, I'll be ready as soon as the car gets here. Where are they taking you? to the Oak Knoll Sanitarium on the North Road. Then maybe you could drop me off at my place. Well, of course, Pinky. I'll wait downstairs. Miss, I'm from headquarters. Are you Harry Selkirk's sister? Well, yes. What's wrong? We're holding him down to headquarters, and he's been asking for you. Oh, headquarters, please. Uh, just a minute. I think you better ride with us. You'll get there faster than the police car. And you're not going. They said pick up the lady only. But I... That's all right, Pinky. Everything will be all right. Will you take him home, please? Right, miss. And never argue with a cop. about you saw his badge, didn't you? That's just it. He said he was from headquarters. Detectives at headquarters wear gold badges. His was silver. <laughs> hey, you talk like a detective. You must have been reading a book. Come on, let's go. such a hurry to get away. He's got that formula. Hey, what are you going to do about it? Go at the hospital. Maybe we can get a line on Selkirk through his sister. This shouldn't take me long. Why do you in there? Ask one of the doctors what's a five-letter word meaning thought of a skeleton. Right. I can't understand why my sister wanted to leave the hospital. Well, she wasn't very anxious to leave, but her employer insisted upon it. Her employer? You mean Harrison? Uh, yes, that's the name. How long ago did this happen? Well, I don't know exactly, but you can find out at the office. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Selkirk!
that wagon driver's name. And I'm going to follow that car. Not in this car, you won't. Hey, you. Who, me? Yeah, it's you. Where do you think you're going? Car 1-1, one, one, calling. Emergency. Car 1-1, one, one, calling. Emergency. Speed, speed, speed. That's what it is. <laughs> I always said haste makes waste. Just look where you are now, huh? And all on account of driving too fast. Young man. Go ahead, 11. Cracked up at 11th and State Street while chasing Harry Selkirk, suspect in the Adams murder case. Last seen headed east on 11th in car bearing license number 5M as in man 2184. 5M 2184. Oh, here I broadcast the general. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Pick up Harry Selkirk, suspect in the Adams murder case. Last seen headed east on 11th Street in the car bearing a license number 5M as in Michigan. Turn that thing off. Repeat. That can mean only one thing. Sockets got the formula. Zuta, are the men outside? Yes, Master. Have them start out at once and see if they can't pick up Sockets before the police get to him. Hello? Mr. Tahada? This is Mr. Wellington of the Wellington Steelworks. Oh, yes, Mr. Wellington. I've been hoping to hear from you. I had an inquiry yesterday from my government concerning that order of steel. How soon can you ship it? That's just what I called you up about, Mr. Tahata. In view of certain information that has just reached me, I must decline to accept your order. But, Mr. Wellington, I don't understand. I'm sure you will when I tell you that I'm basing my decision upon your conduct in the Adams case. What in the world are you talking about? Your efforts to obtain the Adams formula for flexible steel are nothing short of criminal. My directors support me in my decision to have no further dealings with you or your country. Well, if you're such a fool as to turn down business, you're not the only steel company in America. I hate to admit it, Mr. Harrison, but that flexible steel of Adams has got me licked. It defies analysis. That's all right, Stevens. You can drop it. Drop it? By nightfall, I expect to have Adams' own formula. Yes? Gee, that's well. I'll get the department back on the routine. What makes you think you'll get Adams' formula? Why, hello, Selkirk. Glad you dropped in. Saved me the trouble of trying to find you. What have you done with my sister? That's something you'll find out when you turn the formula over to me. Where is she? You tell me or I'll... Oh, no, you won't. Killing me means you'll never see your sister again. All right. You win. I'll give you the formula. Now, where is she? Come on, tell me, where is she? I'll know in a few minutes. I'm waiting for a phone call from my man. If you double-cross me, why should I double-cross you? I've got what I want. I'll just put this in the safe. I'll answer it. Hello? Hello, Harrison? This is Polly. We sure found a perfect hideout for that Selkirk girl. They'll never find her. Where is it? The old Roberts mansion that burnt down about a year ago, just off of the post road, remember? Fine, just wait there. Now hold it, Harris. Give me back that formula. Come on, give it to me! All right, you double-crosser. Here comes a radio patrol car. We got your broadcasting came right over. See anything in Selkirk? No, but there's no radio in his car, so he might not know we're after it. Well, he's bound to show sooner or later. You're right. Duck. Hold it, Selkirk. Oh, Harold. 
save Molly's in terrible trouble. We've got to help her. You'll have to think of a better alibi than that. It's true, I tell you. Harrison's men are holding her prisoner at that burn house out on the post road. Harrison's men? What's their game? Well, they're trying to get me to give them the formula. There may be something in his story. Take him to headquarters. Sam and I'll check on him. Him too. Come on, let's crash him. No, we don't know how many of them there are. Don't give me that. You didn't come here alone. Who's in this with you? Honest, mister. There ain't nobody with me. I wasn't doing nothing. You go around and back and in case they make a break for it. I'm gonna climb that tree up to the room where the light was. And no gunplay. We might hit Pinky or the girl. I was just climbing around. You're lying. You know this kid? I never saw him before. You come along with me.
hurt, Bill? Stop. Get going. What about that girl? Forget it. If they catch us with her, we'll burn short. It's a police. Down at headquarters, under arrest. Under arrest? For what? Don't forget, Molly, he's still a suspect in the Adams murder case. Oh, but he didn't do it, Pat. I just know he's innocent. I hope you're right. Let's go. They got to answer, Central. Keep ringing them. Harrison, where are you? Harrison! Who did this? Selkirk. Selkirk? Answer that phone. Be here in a minute. Harrison talking. Get back to town and stand by at your office till you hear from me. What's wrong, Chief? That policeman O'Hara got Selkirk girl away from my men. How could O'Hara possibly know where you had her? There's only one answer to that. Selkirk must have spilled his story to the police. You're right. That's what I came here to show you. The police got Selkirk. It puts you in a tough spot. Oh, does it? Well, I haven't gone to trial yet. And if I do, maybe Selkirk won't be there to testify against me. Good morning, Mr. Selkirk. My name's Franklin, Mr. Selkirk. I believe you are being held here illegally, and I propose to get you out. Skip it. That's not what you're here for. I know you're one of Tahada's men. What's your game? See here, Selkirk. Tejada knows you have the formula for flexible steel, and his government is prepared to pay you a million dollars for it. You tell him the formula is not for sale at any price. It belongs to Adam's young son, and as soon as it's safe for him to have it, I'm going to see that he gets it. What makes you think you'll ever live to dispose of it? You can't scare me. Someday I'm going to have a showdown with Tejada, and when I do, I hope you're there. I'll save you a share of it. search room the day he was killed. No, I wasn't. I was outside the window when I heard the shot and saw Adams fall. What were you doing in the Wellington steel plant that day? I went there to warn Adams and to stop the murderer from taking the formula. Have you still got the formula? I know where it is. Don't you think you better turn it over to me? If I did, O'Hara, you wouldn't live 24 hours. Well, you live more than 24 hours. Yes, and I'm the only one who can keep it and live. What do you mean? Can't you see? As long as I'm suspected of murdering Adams, the real murderer is in the clear. Why, he wouldn't even kill me to get the formula. But the minute that formula changes hands, that person's marked for death. Don't you see he's telling the truth? He didn't kill Adams. I believe him, Molly. But he'd have a tough time convincing a jury of his innocence without further evidence. Can't you think of something, Harry, that would prove what you say? There's only one way that I can prove it. As long as I'm locked up here, that's impossible. What are you driving at? If 
if I can get back into Adam's research laboratory and reenact the crime, I'm sure I can get the clue of the real murderer. Well, that can be easily arranged. Oh, Harry, you suspect someone? Who is it? It might be Harrison. You remember, sis, what Harrison tried to do to you to get the formula? Harrison? Or it might be the man who offered me a million dollars for it. Tahata. about that bundle of rags you took away from the house yesterday morning. Well, you ought to be around here somewhere. Well, what's the trouble, mister? Well, the lady that I worked for lost a diamond bracelet. We thought it might have gotten mixed up with those rags. Uh, I always say that rich folks are too careless of their geegaws. You mind if I take a look? Certainly not. We'll help you. You look in that one. Like. You found it. Give it to me. He didn't say found it. He just asked you what it looked like. I told you it was platinum with three emeralds and a cluster of diamonds. That's right. Give it to me. Hey, wait a minute. This junk dealer has got to obey the law on finding all lost articles. And it says all such must be reported to the police. And I say that honesty is the best policy. So we'll just trace over the nearest police station and you can claim it there. Yeah, what are you trying to do? Oh, nothing. You can't do that. Here, come back here. Come back here. Stop, Cooper, stop. Did that man get away with my bracelet? Your bracelet, man. Well, that's what I just said it was hidden. Get him, I Oh, get him. What nonsense. He's my servant. Don't worry. I just will get him. Look. Oh! 
This man just tried to kill Selkirk. Who put you up for this? I ain't talking. You're trying to shield somebody. How'd you get in here? I ain't talking, I told you. I ain't talking until I see my lawyer. Take charge of him, Sam. Notify headquarters. You bet. Check up and find out how he got in here. Yes, sir. I'm sorry about this, O'Hara. I expected something like this, Mr. Wellington. Someone doesn't want Selkirk to go through with his demonstration. Do you think it's safe to go through with it? There may be another attempt on his life. I've got to go through with it, Mr. Wellington. It's the only way I can prove I didn't murder Adam. Well, if you insist. We're all ready for you on the research room. Hello. Uh, did Officer O'Hare and Mr. Selkirk get here yet? Yeah. Well, I don't have to pass you through. Come on, Ari. Sam! Where are you going? What did this fella do? Try to kill Selkirk. I'm taking him in. Where do you think you're going? I'm going in there with that. That's going to be pretty busy. You better come along with me. You heard me. Come along. That later. Yes, sir. You see that stool, O'Hara? That's where Adams was murdered. I know that. Now, as I understand it, you want to take Adams' place at the desk as he sat while he was writing the formula. You want me outside that window where you say you were. That's right. Anything I can do, O'Hara? I'm afraid not, Mr. Wellington. But inasmuch as Mr. Adams was alone, apparently, at the time he was shot, I'd like to have the room empty, except for Selkirk. You better come with me. Well, by all means.
Adams was sitting here. I was approximately where you are now. It took him several minutes to write the formula. Then he started to rise, just as I'm doing now. Well, how I've got it. The shot that killed Adams came from... Stop him! Stop him!
Not a sound out of you. Come in and close that door. Get in that closet. Quick! You heard me. Yeah, I was trying to kill Selkirk, but dropping a heavy weight on him. What's that? Hey, uh, what's your name? I ain't talking until I see my lawyer. Refuses to give names, Sarge. Hey, Sam. Hold on, Sarge. Pat wants to talk to you. Hello, Sergeant. Yeah, O'Hara. So Kirk was just with her. Shot the same way Adams was. Well, that's one thing you can't hang on me. I've been handcuffed to you all the time. I'll send the homicide squad over right away, O'Hara. Okay, Sarge. Get a good look at him? Have you any idea who he was? All I know is what I took. Oh, well, Mr. Wellington. Mr. Wellington. I'm going back to research room and wait for the homicide squad. Selkirk's body. Did he find anything? Yes, he took some sort of a paper out of the heel of Selkirk's shoe. That must be the formula for flexible steel. Ah, so that's why he killed Selkirk, to get the formula. That's assuming he did kill him. Who else could have done it? Don't forget, Mr. Wellington, that someone else was in this room. The man that knocked me down. But if he killed Selkirk, why didn't we see him? We saw everything else that happened. That's just it. We couldn't see what Selkirk was looking at when he called out to us. Here's something the police ought to know, Mr. Wellington. I just found these, and neither the wire nor the tools belong to our plant equipment. Just a minute. Don't touch them. They may have fingerprints on them. It'll help me trace down the murder. I'll have them checked at headquarters. Okay, Johnson. I'll see you at 3.30. Well, Selkirk will never bother you anymore. You killed him? I said he won't bother you anymore. Did you find out anything about the formula? One of the hottest men got to him before I could. One of the hottest men. Did he get the formula? I don't know, but he found something that Selkirk had hidden in the heel of his shoe. Why didn't you stop him? I couldn't. It was too dangerous with the homicide squad closing in. I was lucky to get away. So the hottest still after the formula. Well, if he has it, you'll find he's got more than the police force to reckon with. I'll tell you what I want you to do. Okay. You have too much faith in your power, Tahata. Your hypnotic control over Franklin may have worn off. Even now, he may be in the hands of the police. There is nothing to be afraid, Zuta. Even if he is in the hands of the police, he will tell them only what I have put in his mind. Master, Franklin has retired. He is on his way in. You see, Zuta, Franklin has returned. Don't stand there gaping like a fool. Speak. What news do you bring? The man Selkirk is dead. And from his body, I have taken this for you. What is it, Master? It's a receipt for a registered letter. Selkirk's death has gained us nothing. This thing is worthless. On the contrary, Zuta. This receipt will lead us to the formula. But how is that, Master? When Selkirk was searched at police headquarters, the formula was not found on him. The postmark on this receipt is dated before he was arrested and bears the name of his sister. Then all we have to do is watch the Selkirk girl until the letter is delivered to her. Exactly, Zuta, and that should be some time today. Yes, Miss Selkirk. 
Gosh, Molly, I'm sure sorry about your brother. I know now that I was wrong in thinking he killed my father. He was a good guy, just like you always said. Oh, thanks, Pinky. That goes for me, too, Molly. Thanks for letting me know, Sam. Where's Pat? He's up in the fingerprint department, checking out some clues. I think Inspector Clark wants to see you. Will you go in? There's no doubt about it, O'Hara. He's your man, all right. Thanks. Hello? Yes, he's here. O'Hara, report to Inspector Clark right away. Inspector Clark? All right. Mind if I take these? All right. But it'll cost you a month's pay if you don't bring them back. You sent for me, Inspector? Yes. Sit down, O'Hara. Thanks. Sorry, you, Mom. Hello, Pat. As you know, O'Hara, the department is without any definite clue in either the Adams or the Subcourt cases. You're right, Inspector. Up until now, we haven't well, had... Now, that can wait for a moment. Because you've been so closely tied in with both these cases, I'm taking you off the uniform force and giving you a plain clothes assignment. Hereafter, you report to Captain Lasseter of Detective Headquarters. I'll do the best I can, and thanks. There's nothing definite about it, O'Hara, yet. But if you do bring in these two cases, there's the Detective Sergeant Shield in it for you. If you don't, you go back to your radio car. Now, what is it you want to show me? Well, this bag was found in the Wellington Steel Plant. Yes, I know. Go ahead. Well, the fingerprints on this bag prove to be those of James Pollard, a former police officer discharged three years ago for taking a bribe. Oh, yes. I remember. Seems that he has some sort of a detective agency now. Do you think he killed my brother? Do you know him? Oh, well, yes. When I was Mr. Harrison's secretary, Pollard often came to the office. He was doing some undercover work for Mr. Harrison. Pollard worked for Harrison? Say, that explains a lot. Harrison always has been after that formula. And now I suppose you're going right out and arrest Harrison. No. We haven't enough on Harrison even to bring him in here for a sweating. But we will have after I've talked to Pollard. I think you'll make a pretty good detective after all, Harrison. Thank you. Sir. <laughs> Come on, Sam, let's go. Okay, Pat, I'm all set. Hey, what do you do? Wear that badge to bed? Oh, gee, Pat, I, I've been in uniform so long, I forgot I was wearing it. <laughs> oh. Well, that's fine. The only thing you haven't got is a portable fire escape. Take that. Well, look, Pat, I'm still a cop, I know you, and I'm still on duty, ain't I? Yeah, but you're a plain clothes cop now. You only need your gun. <laughs> Nobody could ever tell I was a cop now. <laughs> as long as they don't look at your feet. You better stay here, Sam. Oh, ain't I going in with you? What, with those shoes and having spot me for a cop the minute I walk in there? All right, all right.
now. That train will stop. Crazy fool. He's going to try and beat it. Never going to trial now. Pull up, sir. That's what I call a tough break. Just when we get a guy who can tell us plenty, he gets himself bumped off. May not be as tough as you think, Sam. Harrison doesn't know Paula's dead. He will know as soon as the afternoon papers hit the street. But that train crew will report it to the next station. They can report the crash, but they can't report Paula's death if his body isn't here. Give me a hand. Holland sure was lucky to get out of that one. Not uh, bad luck that he did get out of it with the police that close to him. Hello? Pollard. Pollard? Where are you? I'm hiding out in the chief hotel. The cops are hot on my trail and I've got to get out of town. What's happened to your voice, Pollard? Sounds different somehow. Well, you'd sound different too if you'd been through what I have and had your face bandaged up. Ain't you read the papers? You know what I want, money. I'm gonna have 10 grand by tonight, and you're gonna get it for me. Don't stall, Harrison. I ain't gonna take a rap for you. If you don't get it, I'll bust the Adams and sell her case wide open. $10,000 is a lot of money, Pollard. There's only one place I know where I can get it on such short notice. I've been shipping a lot of steel to the Hattest government lately, and if I offer him a cut, I may be able to get that much cash from him. Besides, his office in the Cairo Cafe would probably be the safest place for us to meet. Yeah. All right, then meet me there at 5 o'clock sharp. All right. You know you can't get $10,000 from Tejada? Even if I could, I wouldn't give it to Pollard. Well, then why run the risk of meeting him? Never mind that. Here's what I want you to do. At exactly five minutes to five, call Tejada on the phone. Yes, but uh, what'll I talk to him about? I don't care what you talk about. Just keep him on that phone. Well, O'Hara, things going as you expected? Not as I figured, Inspector. But from what Harrison just told me, we can expect a much bigger cleanup than we'd hoped for. Meaning to hunt him? Just that. I knew he was mixed up in this some way. And now Harrison's gonna lead me right to him. This looks like more than a one-man job to me. You think you want to put some men inside the cafe? Not inside. But Sam knows that district down there just as well as I do. If you give him a detail and anything happens, well, maybe we'll have use for him. Come in. Now you're going to see what the well-dressed cripple is wearing. I got a good mind to go in with you. I got a good mind to punch you in the nose. I'm going to handle this my way. You can't tell even now. Some of Harrison's men may be watching us. Uh, does your offer for the flexible steel formula still hold? Yes, my government will gladly pay one million dollars for it. Do you have it? I expect to have it brought to me here in a few minutes. Indeed. Quite an excellency, an important telephone call. Will you excuse me? Certainly. with your firm? Yes, yes, my name is Tahata. I suggest you send a representative here with the order blank. I can soon convince him that the signature is not mine. I really cannot argue about it anymore. You'll have to excuse me. Good day, sir. Who are you and what do you want? Look out!
right, I'm going with you. I got a good mind to punch you in the nose. I'm going to handle this my way. You can't tell, even now. Some of Harrison's men may be watching this. Spartan Excellency, an important telephone call. Will you excuse me? Second. with your firm. Yes, yes, my name is Tahata. I suggest you send a representative here with the order blank. I can soon convince him that the signature is not mine. I really cannot argue about it anymore. You'll have to excuse me. Good day, sir. Who are you and what do you want? Look out! Stand back! We're a police officer. Drop that. I didn't kill him. No, I suppose I did. Back to where I keep my eyes open. I didn't kill him. Tata, what's happened? Who killed him? You know this man? Why, yes, he's Mr. Taha, the representative of the Iranian government. Surely he couldn't have killed him. There must be some mistake. Well, all I know is I found him standing up with a body with a gun in his hand. And if that doesn't make him a murderer, well, I'll put him with you. Master, this can't be true. Of course it isn't true, Zuta. Why should I murder a man I've never seen before? Probably it has no bearing, but Tahata asked me to meet a man by the name of Pollard here to discuss the purchase of a formula for flexible steel. Is this Pollard? I don't know. I never saw him before. That's what I've been looking for, Sam. Harrison's the man we want. But I don't understand, O'Hara. I am amazed you're not hurt. I saw you shut down. Well, that's the answer. He's wearing the iron corset. Adam's bulletproof vest. You mean you expected something like this to happen? I was certain of it when Harrison fell for my impersonation of Pollard and asked me to meet him here. I'm very sorry that I had to cause you a few unpleasant minutes. Well, that's all right, O'Hara. No harm done. Sam, take him down to headquarters. That's a pleasure. the number of that ambulance company? Yeah, Hempstead uh, Where's the fellow who's shot up? There's a mix-up somewhere. Nobody's been shot. Somebody's gonna be if you don't do as I say. Get the guns, Perkins. Get in the ambulance, Harris. Let's get him. I'm going with you a trail, even a charge. We're going to Texas, watch a couple of blocks from here. Find an east coast when we get there.
you want us for anything, pull out the first board under the bunk. The phone's in there. received her brother's letter. Then why are you here? I told you not to let her out of your sight. I thought you ought to know that she has gone to the Wellington Steel Plant. Our men are there keeping watch on her. Enough. You may rest now. Therefore, gentlemen, I regret to state we are unable to fill your order for armor plate because it violates the terms of the United States Neutrality Act. They're very truly yours. That's all, Miss Selka. Mr. Wellington, I've been waiting for an opportunity to tell you how grateful I am to you for taking me on as your secretary. Why, my dear Miss Selkirk, it's the least I could do in view of the tragic circumstances surrounding the death of your brother in my plant. Especially after your unpleasant experience with Harrison. Thank you very much, Mr. Wellington. Excuse me, he's a registered letter for you, Mr. Kirk. Oh, thank you. Will you please sign this? The mailman's waiting. Thank you. And you better read it, Miss Elkirk. may be important. Thank you. What is it, Miss Elkirk? Well, good heavens, it's the Adams formula. Oh, I must call Pat O'Hara at headquarters at once. A calling from here. Use my private wire, Miss Elkirk. General Harris? No, sir. The only thing I can figure is that it's hidden in some private garage. Inspector Clark. Uh, just a moment. For you. Oh, thanks. Hello? Oh, hello, Molly. No. Not on your life. You stay there until I pick you up. Oh, and Molly, phone the city dump and tell Pinky Adams that I'll pick him up, too. It'll save time. That's right. Thanks. Inspector, now's our chance to clean up the Adams formula case once and for all. It's just been delivered to Miss Selker. If what I hear about that formula is true, that boy's going to be a millionaire. That's right. But it'll never spoil him. He's a great kid. Get the house to get the clothes, game. Oh, I don't want to change my clothes now, Jeremiah. 
What's Miss Sucker for me for anyway? It's mighty important business. You're going to be a millionaire. Miss Selkirk's found your daddy's formula. Well, I don't care how much I give, Jeremiah. I'll never forget you. Yeah. I know you won't, boy. I always say if a man's heart is right, money don't make no difference. Hopkirk said she's got the formula and coming right over here with her. You sure? Positive. Anybody with her? No. Just the same with I get some of the boys over here in a hurry. You got the formula safe? Yes. Yeah. There she is now. Get in. They just turn the next corner, we can still catch them. to be here by now. If they don't get here before that cop of her picks up the kid, it's goodbye formula. We'll fix it so they can't pick up the kid.
Stop that gun, copper. Gun copper. It's all right, man. I've got it. Get back there and take care of a house. Yes, sir.
gonna blow up. I was sure surprised to find out that Harrison is the man I was working for. Yeah, so was I. Molly, is the formula safe? Mr. Harrison snatched it from me. Harrison? Yes. Did he get away? Yeah, he got away in a taxi, but Irish is following him. Say, Pat. What do you suppose a rich guy like Harrison is doing in the city dumps? He's hiding. He knows there's a warrant out for his arrest for the murder of Molly's brother. Do you suppose he had anything to do with the murder of Pinky's father? The fact that he stopped at nothing to get that formula makes it look mighty suspicious. I wish I could get my hands on him. I'm sure you will, Pat. I gotta get to a phone and call headquarters. Are you gonna broadcast for Harrison? Say, Pat, could you, uh, would you, uh... I get it, Pinky. I'll have the boys watch out for Irish. Gee, Pat, that's swell. Good for you, you'll keep your mouth shut. Okay, boys, I ain't seen nothing. Hello? Hello, Harrison. Where are you? What? No, no police have been around here. All right, I'll get all the money I can lay my hands on. I'll pick up some clothes at your house. Well, it may take some time, but I'll get there as soon as I can. Okay, but keep your eyes open. The cops may be watching you. Are you really going to leave the country, boss? By the first boat. What about the steel plant? Are you going to give that up? Stevens can take care of that. I don't have to worry anymore. Any foreign government would pay a million dollars for the secret of flexible steel, and I've got it. to hurt you too much. Come in. Speak, Franklin. Harrison has the formula. He is planning to leave the country. Where is he? I do not know. But his man, Stevens, is meeting him there. All we need to do is follow Stevens. By tomorrow, the formula will be on its way out of the country. But not with Harrison. Zuta, get him ready. It is well done, Franklin. You may rest. What makes you think Harrison will try and leave the country? Well, Inspector, those two killings have brought a great deal of notoriety to flexible steel. There isn't a plant in the country would dare touch it. There's only one thing to do. Throw out a dry bit around every airport, steamship dock, and railroad station in town. 
Well, I've already taken the liberty of doing that, sir. That's all right, O'Hara. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Inspector Clark speaking. Yes, he's here. All right. Steele wants you in the radio room. Thank you, sir. Get in the car, Sam. We're going out. Okay, Simon Legree. A guy don't get any rest around here. Hello, Charlie. What's on your mind? Okay. We just got a line about that pooch that you was asking about. The boys in car 47 picked him up on Coldwater Road. Funny thing about it, he was hurt. Hurt? Badly? No, they took him to the vet. There's the address. Thanks. Can you use your phone? Sure, go ahead. In order to rush the superstructure for cruiser number 219. Mr. Wellington's office. Oh, what is it, Pat? Please call back. I'm busy now. Oh, go right ahead, Miss Selkirk. Oh, thank you. Yes, what is it? Hey, tell Pinky that we picked up Irish OK. Yeah, he's all right. I'm going to take the dog with me on the long chance that he'll lead me to Harrison. Oh, thank you, Pat. It was so nice of you to call. I'll tell Pinky as soon as I get home. I really should have taken that boy to live with me sooner. He's a wonderful boy. And goodbye. Uh, did I understand you to say that Pinky Adams is living with you, Miss Selkirk? Why, yes, Mr. Wellington. That oh. shack on the city dumps was no place for a young boy. Well, that's very generous of you indeed. I wish I'd thought of it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to ask you to let me help. Oh, no, thank you. That won't be at all necessary. I can take oh, please, Miss Selkirk. It's the least I can do for a boy whose father was murdered in my plant. And now that that's settled, let's not keep the Navy Department waiting. This looks like the place, Sam. Yeah, according to 47's report, they picked him up from along in here. And if that dog really leads us to Harrison, I'll even believe what Pinky said about him. Well, get out of the way and give him a chance, will you? Come on, Harry, here's where you do your stuff. Take it easy. Look, Sam, he's hot on the trail of something already. Come on. Telling where that dog's gonna lead us, Sam. You better go back and get the car. That's a good idea. Stevens made quick time. I'll go down and give him a hand. No, you won't. You'll stay right here. He may have been followed. Boy, wouldn't it be funny if it turns out old Irish is just following a skunk? He is. Get out of here quick, Harrison. We just passed that cop O'Hara down the road. He's trailing you with a dog. O'Hara, did he recognize you? No, I'm sure he didn't. Then we've still got a chance. Let's get out of here. I can change in the car. Hey! A car. If that's O'Hara... Oh! That's not O'Hara's car. I know those men. We can use them to throw O'Hara off the trail. How do you know? Tricked them out of the formula down the dump. Somebody sent them down there to get it, and they thought I was their boss. Is that the formula, Harrison? Yes. I'm not taking any chances. You two take the suitcase and wait for me in the car. I'll get rid of these fellows. All right. Uh, better go down the back way. Upstairs. Come in, boys. Not to worry about you, boss. 
Figured we'd better drop over and see if everything was okay. You're just in time. I've been tipped off or Harry's on his way here to get me. He'll be here any minute. If you know what to do. Yeah, we know what to do. Then get busy. So he can make a clean getaway with that formula, huh? Where's that guy Stevens? He's gone. He just came in to bring me this money. Oh, yeah? Blake, take a look around. Now, you know what we're after, Harrison. Where's that formula? You've got me all wrong, boys. I'm not out to double-cross anybody. If you fellas want the formula, it's okay with me. Now you're talking sense, Harrison. Let's have it. It's over there. I hid it in case O'Hara jumped me before I made a getaway. Well, go get it. Sounded like a shot. Came from that house. Maybe that's Harrison's hideout. Come here, Irish. Come on. All right, get going. They shot him. That shot will bring the cops down on us. Beat it. Well, that father isn't on him. He had it when he left the dump. Well, he must have slipped it to Stevens. Hey, boys! Stevens is getting away! Stop him! Sounds like somebody's beat us to Harrison. Hit him! Some of their outfit tried to muscle in to get that formula. That got him. Going off the road, Pat. Pull up alongside quick before any of them have a chance to get away. Something's busted. Looks like we're sunk. Here comes a car. Let's hijack it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Come on, get out of that car. Back up. Get that gun. You and I will stay here and keep these men company. I'll run that other car down. Come along. You heard me. Car coming up fast.
on the side road. Which one of you murdered Harrison? We didn't kill him. There's none in the other car. Yeah, well, why were they chasing you? Well, we knew too much. They had to stop us to say they're next. Yeah, that's right. They knew we'd tell the police. Well, we'll soon find out. My partner's got that other bunch. We're gonna take you all down to headquarters. Uh -huh. The formula, please. What formula? The Adams formula for flexible steel. We haven't got it. I know you have it. I heard you tell him back at the house. It's lucky Harrison gave us the formula before they killed him. They told you we haven't got it. If you don't believe us, search it. Then you will come with me. Start the car. You will drive. calling headquarters. Car 11 calling headquarters. Go ahead, 11. Broadcast to General for Brown Rambler Roadster. Number 7W2367. 7, 7W as in Williams, 2367. Two men driving it suspected of murdering W.H. Harrison. President of the Harrison Iron and Steel Works. I'll pick up Sam and his prisoners on the way in. Okay, O'Hara. Harrison. Harrison did it. Harrison? Boy, that low-down rat. You're right, Eddie. I'd take a shot at you, copper, if I had the chance, but I'd be hanged if I'd plug your dog. I bet that dog's plenty tough with four legs under him. He's plenty tough with three legs, aren't you, Harrison? <laughs> Out! Out! Wakes up. You hurt, Sam? Well, it didn't do me any good. Did they get away? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, you and I ought to travel in pairs from now on. Somebody slugged me, too. Who was that outfit you were chasing? I only recognize one of them. Harrison's research man, Stephen. Let's go back to headquarters and see if he's got a record. Well, if I ever catch the guy that hit me, he won't need any record. Come on, Irish. What's the matter? I don't know. It acts like the distributor. Get out and fix it. Get this car started, or you'll join Stevens. I 
I've got my finger on the trigger. by bringing this man here. Save your breath, Suda. You know he responds to no will but mine. Speak. Harrison is dead. This man knows where the formula is. Where is it? Wouldn't you like to know? I intend to know. And you are going to tell me. Try and make me tell. You are going to tell me. You are going to tell me. You are going to tell me. Speak. I am the master. Yes, master. Where is the formula? In the suitcase. And the suitcase? Stevens pushed it out of the car. Where, where? While I was fighting with a harrow just before the car stopped. I can find the place, Master. Go at once. Take Flynn with you. And when you are awake, you will remember nothing. Nothing. Now go. This is the place. We should be right down that bank. Hey, here's something. See, these things dropped out of the bag. Huh. W-H-H. That's Harrison, all right. Hey, maybe those fellas took it. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Hey, remember, you guys, you don't know nothing. Hey, did you men find a suitcase up on the hill? No. Oh, no? Where'd you get the shirt? W.H. Harrison's initials. Well? All right, one of the guys did find it and gave me the shirt to wear, so what? Where's the rest of the stuff that was in the suitcase? Look, buddy, I don't know. I didn't find the suitcase. But the guy that did find it just took it down to the city dumps. He's going to try to unload it to the junk man. If he gets back here before we get a chance to talk to him, tell him to wait here. We're not dicks. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Hey, look. Hey, what did he give you for this, Pop? Don't you pop me. I always say that a man that's loose in his talk is loose in his morals. How do I know you come by it honest? What are you running here, a junkyard or a Sunday school? Listen here, young fella. If you'd have seen the inside of more Sunday schools when you was a kid, you wouldn't be hoboing around the country trying to sell a suitcase to come by it as honest. I always say that honesty is the best policy, and a man can't be too careful in his business dickerings. Why, you old firecracker. <laughs> if you could get this at your price, you'd buy it even if I didn't steal it out of a Sunday school. Hold your tongue, you brat, genius, young scallywag. I always say that... Oh, Jeremiah. Oh, good morning, Jeremiah. Just a minute. Good morning, miss. Well, well, well. So you got it lonesome for old Jeremiah and the dump, huh? Hey, you gonna buy this? Because if you ain't, I'll go someplace else. I told you I never bought stolen goods, didn't I? Just a minute. I'll buy that suitcase from you. Miss Selkirk. I sure am surprised at you. A well-brought-up young woman encouraging thievery by buying stolen goods. Shut up, you old goat. That isn't it at all, Jeremiah. Look at the initials on that bag. Mr. Harrison, where did you get it? I found it, miss, on the level, out on the highway. Well, I'll give you five dollars as a reward for your honesty. Oh, thank you, miss. See you in Sunday school, Pop. <laughs> Just as I thought, it's empty. Wait a minute. There might be something in one of the pockets. Here's something. What is that? 
Pat's formula. Pat ought to know about this right away. We can use Jeremiah's spoon. Well, I've heard of good coming out of evil, but I've never seen it until now. Hello, hello, Central. Give me police headquarters, please. Battalion section, Casey talking. Give me Sergeant O'Hara, please. O'Hara. Yeah, Molly? Say, that's great. I'll be right over. Well, I can't wait for you now, Pat. I'm late for the office now. I'll meet you there. See you later. I'll start right away. Goodbye, Pete. What's the matter, Molly? Look. They must be after the suitcase. That means they're after the formula. Can we better call Pat? No, we haven't time for that. I've got to get away. Will you go out the back door, Molly? I'll lock the door behind you and stall. All right, Pinky. Where's the girl? Girl? Young fella, this is a city dump, and there ain't no women around here. Uh, don't stall. We know she's here, and we'll find her. Now, look here. You let it loose of me, you. Why don't you hit somebody your own size? I don't know where he's hit. Giving us a strip. He's locked us in. Did it hurt to Jeremiah? Yeah. I'm all right. Here, you go along with her. Get out of the way. I'll wait until Miss Selkirk arrives. Why, of course. Sit down and make yourself comfortable. I can't tell you how happy I am that Peaky Adams has at last come into his rightful inheritance, his father's formula. It's wonderful news. But I'm not going to rest until I get the man that murdered Pinky's father. I'm afraid it's rather a hopeless task. There's such a lack of definite clue. Hello? Mr. DeHaar, to see you, Mr. Wellington. Oh, uh, we'll show him in. Mr. DeHart of the Iranian government is coming here to discuss a steel contract. Mr. DeHart. Oh, Mr. DeHart. I believe you know Detective Sergeant O'Hara. I've met Mr. DeHart. Sergeant O'Hara, pleasure to see you again. I am happy to inform you, Mr. Wellington, that my government has approved your estimates for our order of structural steel. And by the way, my government, knowing your interest in Egyptology, hopes you will accept a gift which with your permission, I will have brought in. My men are outside. Oh, thank you very much indeed, Mr. Zahara. This is indeed an unexpected honor. It is the sarcophagus of Anibus II, one of the real treasures of the museum at Iran. <laughs> I don't know what to say. If this is a princely gift, I ought not to accept it. A very slight appreciation of our friendly relations, Mr. Wellington. Put it against that wall. What do these hieroglyphics mean, Mr. Tahara? That's a most interesting inscription, O'Hara. I have here a full translation of it, made by the famous Professor Duncan. I'll read it to you before Mr. Wellington and I get down to business. Oh, by all means. Thanks. I'd like to hear it, too. Check me out, Mr. Wellington. 
me in, will you, Tom? I'm in a hurry. Sure, go right ahead, Mr. Okay. My glasses are blurred. Do you mind reading this, Mr. Wellington? My pleasure. Anu sends forth all the gods as he pleases. He calls them again and then, to make them his pliant instruments, enfeebles their personality. And their designations seem to be nothing more than doublets of his own. He is Anu Vilachmu, who appeared on the first days of creation. Ahu Arash and Ninib is the son. Warriors of Nippur and Anu is... Stay where you are, O'Hara. One move or a sound will do you last. Get out, Molly! I'll trouble you for that formula, Miss Tuckett. Come on. Get in that closet, both of you. There's a ventilator, Molly. I can get through there. I didn't kill him, O'Hara. I swear I didn't. You expect me to believe that? I've got the goods on you. And there isn't a jury in the world that won't convict you. I didn't do it. I tell you, I am innocent. The man you want is...
Wellington gave us orders to pick up an Egyptian gadget and take it to his house. All right, his office phone will let you in. I didn't kill him, O'Hara. I swear I didn't. You expect me to believe that? I've got the goods on you. And there isn't a jury in the world that won't convict you. I didn't do it. I tell you I am innocent. The man you want is... to be killed. I wish I had done it. Why? I can't seem to remember that. Yes, I do. He is the man who destroyed my mind. Destroyed your mind? What do you mean? All oh, beginning to come back to me. He's not to Hutter. I am. You, Tahara? Then who is he? He is Werner the Great, the celebrated hypnotist. He has held me under a hypnotic spell for days, weeks, months, perhaps. Vicky. Vicky, where's O'Hara? Did he catch Tahara? I don't know, Mr. Wellington. One of the guards thought he ran in here. Well. Let's look for him in the research room. Good heavens, O'Hara. Tata dead? Did this man kill him? I don't know, Mr. Wellington. He's got a lot of explaining to do. Is the formula safe? Got that in my pocket. I'll have to lock this room up till the homicide squad gets here. Why, of course. All right. Search your truck, buddy. There's nothing in it but that Egyptian gadget from Mr. Wellington's house. I know, I know, but we're looking for somebody. He might have hidden in the truck without you knowing it. All right, go ahead. I have to leave you now, Mr. Wellington. Get back to headquarters. Say, by the way, could you spare Miss Selkirk for an hour? I'm sure the inspector would like to hear her story. Hmm, I should have thought of that, O'Hara. She was so upset I sent her home to rest. Well, that's all right. Tomorrow I'll do. Come on. Yeah. 
You made fast time, Glenn. Get that box inside and be careful with it. This wire from the Iranian embassy in Washington proves it, Inspector. Franklin's fingerprints check exactly with those of the real Tejada, made when he applied for a passport. That clenches it, then. Send in that person that O'Hara just booked. Yes. I hate to do this, O'Hara, but there's no other course open to me. I took you off the uniform force and made a detective sergeant out of you, hoping you would solve the Adams and the Selkirk murders. You not only haven't done so, but we're faced with a third killing. And every newspaper in town is yammering for an arrest. I've got to throw this thing back to the detective division and you back to patrol duty. But Inspector Clark, I... Inspector Clark speaking. Yes, yeah, just a minute. He's here. For you. Hello. Yes, Pinky? I did as you said and came to Ma's apartment. But she ain't here. And the manager said she ain't been here. Not there? What? Well, there's nothing to worry about, Pinky. You stay right there till you hear from me. Now, you get that? Stay right there, son, till you hear from me. That's right. Thanks. Look, Inspector, you got to give me another chance. I've got a hunch that changes everything. If you'll hold up that transfer for 24 hours, I'll bring in the murder, or I'll go back to town on the beat. All right, O'Hara. But if you don't bring in the murder, we'll probably both be pounding the pavements. Come in, Mr. O'Hara. You sent for me? Yes. I just got word from Washington that clears you completely. Well, you're free to go. Thank you. Good day, gentlemen. Just a minute. There's something you can do for me. Yes? Molly Selkirk has disappeared. I'm afraid her life's in danger, and you've got to help me find her. I help you find her? Now, listen. When you were under that hypnotic spell, they sent you to the Wellington Steel Plant to take Molly Selkirk away. Now, think, man. Where did you take her? Selkirk? Wellington Steel Plant? I seem to remember it had something to do with a mummy case. Mummy case? Yes, there was a mummy case in Wellington's office. It was delivered just before... Think, man, think. You've got to remember. We were to take it somewhere. In the truck. Now I remember. The old burned house on the Coldwater Road. I know that place, Inspector, and I've got to work fast, or we'll have another murder on our hands. Molly Selkirk knows too much. Sam, we're going places, in a hurry. Hurry? A five-letter word meaning go quickly. H-U-R-R-Y. That's it. We're pretty near there, Sam. Better pull over. We'll go the rest of the way on foot. Okay, Pat. called on to kill a dame. I don't like it. You better like it. You're taking orders from a guy that's already killed three men. And this dame knows too much. A swell job, Pat. You won't wake up till we get the girl out of here. You must have her up in that room. Stay here and watch this fella. If you're through, get outside and give Perkins a chance to eat. Wake up. Go in and get your grub. Suppose you wake up. Now take it easy, you me. You'll never eat again. Let's 
honey. Everything looks all right. We'd better make sure she's still in there. Get him up. Get up. Come on out, Molly. What about Molly? Is she all right? Here she comes now. It's me, Gwen. Lewis. What happened to the boys? Top shot Perkins, but Blake's okay. We got to stop him, Flynn. The girl is with the Boston, and her hair is on his way down to pinch him. Get going. How much? For $50,000, you'll never see me again, Wellington. Well, there's nothing else I can do about it. Fortunately, the payroll came in this afternoon, and there's more than that amount in the office now. I'll phone my secretary and have her bring it down. Keep away from that phone. Well, suppose you phone her.
Hello, O'Hara. You told me at the office you'd be here. <laughs> I hope you brought me some good news from Miss Selkirk. And you do know she's missing. Yes, Pinky phoned me. I see. Are you positive that Miss Selkirk went directly to her apartment when you told her to go home? Oh, I'm positive. I even told her to use one of my cars. Come in, Molly. Miss Selkirk. That's right, Wellington. No use playing the part anymore. I arrest you for the triple murder of Adams, Selkirk, and Werner, the hypnotist. Hmm. It's as though you got me, O'Hara. It is a tremendous gamble, and I've lost. If I'd won, the secret of flexible steel would have made me master of the world. Oh, Miss Selkirk, I... I'm sorry I had to treat you so roughly when you came back to the office so unexpectedly, just as I was setting the death trap for Werner. Death trap? How did you kill these men, Wellington? I might as well tell you about that, too. There's a pistol hidden in that ventilator there, which is pointing in a certain direction. With this little switch here, I control a photoelectric cell. When that switch is closed, Anyone crossing that invisible beam breaks the contact and fires a pistol like this apart. Ah! Swan for the life of me, I don't know how I'm ever going to live up to Pinky being a millionaire. Oh, Jeremiah. Now look here, young woman. I don't need no fussing over. Now where's that pesky boy? Thank you. 